when when I specifically buy Bitcoin, what I'm thinking to myself is I'm using my own personal capital. So like there's all of these things that are just so good and will change constructively if we have a fundamentally distributed secure currency. You to use Bitcoin effectively like a currency with all of the mechanisms that allow it then to be accounted for properly like a like a property. Can I generate returns? Because if I do, I can take this money and do something really awesome with it. I think it's progressing a, fin a set of financial changes that fundamentally empower a distributed class. Bitcoin, to get to mass market scale, the most powerful thing that you can do is describe it in simple pragmatic terms that don't require zealous belief. And it starts with property and property plus smart contracts and triple entry accounting equal a currency. And so when, when I specifically buy Bitcoin, what I'm thinking to myself is I'm using my own personal capital to hopefully prop up and support the emergence of something that would rip apart the existing financial system. And if it does, God bless it. And what will happen, and what will happen is individuals who are on the right side of history, on the right side of justice will benefit. Individuals will be able to get access to capital easier. Individuals will be able to transact cheaper. Individuals will not get cheated. Simple example, you know, you talk about, for example, like remittance as being a big business. For those of us who are not white and not born here, who send money back to a third world country, you will know that there, will, there are thugs that stand outside these money depots and will basically charge you like a cover charge to get into the bloody place to get your cash. We got old white men are the best, right? We got Buffett on one side, we got Perkins on the other. They're both kind of good at something, but they're both kind of crazy at other things. Yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, like, I think he's probably generally true. Uh, look, the reality is... You think Warren is generally right? No, I think no. I think Mark's right. Like, Okay, Mark. But, but as, a, as a general statement, mm -hmm. like the, the general statement, which is true, is that we're, we all tend to be dismissive or negative of things we don't fundamentally understand. And I think it's reasonable for a guy who's made 50, 60 billion dollars by owning things like Coca-Cola and Gillette to not understand Bitcoin. And forget like the last 13 years of tech as well, which he's also completely ignored, but he's allowed to do that, you know? And he's very successful in his own right. Just like, I don't know why I would buy Coca-Cola or Gillette. It just makes no sense to me. Sure, but he... So I'm just as crazy as he is. <laughs> sure, but, but he, has a, he has a record of being a, a pretty savvy, uh, you know, ana analyzer of financial in instruments. I would give him a little more credit than that. No, no, no. My point is there, there are lots of ways to make money. And this is actually a really good point. So um, we have to be respectful of many ways of making money if making money is the goal. Um, I've said that, you know, for me, Again, this platform I wanna use as a way to drive change in areas that I think are fundamentally broken. And money is my tool for change. So money is a necessary evil. So when I think about doing things, I have to think about it from a broad investing mindset of, can I generate returns? Because if I do, I can take this money and do something really awesome with it. I can fund Alzheimer's research, I can do something over here in education, whatever. So, you know, as an example, like he can go and he can basically own these great CPG names and other things and make money for his investors, that's great. But I think Mark Andreessen can go and invest in Oculus Rift and box and make money. And so can I. And I think that's all fine. So how does owning Bitcoin affect change? I think it's progressing a, fin a set of financial changes that fundamentally empower a distributed class and disadvantages entrenched interests. And from that perspective, I think we should absolutely want that type of thing to win. My whole view with Bitcoin was always that it's much better to be pragmatic and, and lay out a moderate case, which is that it's a hedge in a portfolio um, against the sort of traditionalist financial infrastructure. And so many people would get mad because they would anchor on this extremist view that it had to be everything. It had to be the solution and panacea at everything. The problem with that view is that that's just not how you maximize demand, right? When you think about um, products that really get to scale, um, there's a simplicity and what that simplicity gives is people a very simple decision to make. Do I want to use this or do I not want to use it? And so if you want, you know, for example, Bitcoin to get to mass market scale, 
the most powerful thing that you can do is describe it in simple pragmatic terms that don't require zealous belief. So like there's all of these things that are just so good and will change constructively if we have a fundamentally distributed secure currency. And it starts with property and property plus smart contracts and triple entry accounting equal a currency. So we should stop getting caught up in all the semantics and celebrate the fact that the US government now acknowledges what it is that you all care about. Hugely important. By the way, the other thing is, eventually these retailers will want to do it because, you know, I mean, the ability to eliminate credit card fees, what was Goldman's thing was $250 billion a year. And then the ability on the behalf of a consumer to prevent fraud. Those are hugely positive aspects of adopting some kind of a virtual cryptocurrency. And so it'll tip. Um, uh, you know, like, I mean, and, and you know Bezos probably better than any of us in this room. This is a guy that's like, I mean, if you want to kind of like scorch the earth and like, you know, basically like take every single ounce of profit and like, you know, pass it back to the consumers, oh, no this is the most obvious way to do it over and above, you know, vertically integrating and all the other things that he's already naturally doing. And yet they're not going to do anything that will confuse their customers. So they're going to have to wait until people are comfortable with it. Yeah, but now I think when you have, like I said, with IRS guidance, someone is going to develop a very clever product that basically allows you to use Bitcoin effectively like a currency with all of the mechanisms that allow it then to be accounted for properly like a like a property, um, but is fundamentally then fungible like a currency. And I think that's quite straightforward now. Are there growth patterns that you saw at Facebook that are being replicated here with Bitcoin? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, one of the projects that I worked on very early on was our platform. And, you know, we had a way of like looking at our platform API usage to kind of think about what was happening in the ecosystem as a corollary to what would happen with user growth. And um, uh, we've done applied and, you know, we've, we've been doing a bunch of that same analysis here and we see a lot of very similar patterns. And I think that's really constructive. So, um, you know, when you look at sort of just like, like, you know, Bitcoin um, and sort of like it's distributed use. It's really impressive the amount of people that are now um, using it and uh, using it like meaning like 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 developers writing to it and using and I think that's just a really big deal. You worked with Mark Zuckerberg for many years. You're still friendly with him. What does he think of Bitcoin? I think he thinks it's cool. I don't think they're going to do anything in the near term. I'm speculating. Um, but here's a great thing that would be awesome and then how to basically apply their identity on top of it to create a white space within the blockchain so that transactions buying between people who are willing to be named has some mechanism to basically like have an easier way of doing things uh, acknowledged by governments and tax authorities, etc. That would be a game changer for Bitcoin overnight.